Hello dear viewers, welcome back to this channel. I am your guide Microbot. In today's video, we are going to look at few mnemonics to remember viral inclusion bodies. In fact, viral inclusion bodies are very confusing to understand and memorize. So I am going to make your job very easy. So let's get started. By definition, inclusion bodies, specifically viral inclusion bodies are nothing but aggregates of virions or viral proteins and products of viral replication that confer altered staining property to the host cell. If you look here, there are four important terms in this definition. What are they? The word virions, viral proteins, products of viral replication and that they confer altered staining property to the host cell. I hope this definition is easy. Moving on, we can classify the viral inclusion bodies into three different categories. What are they? Intracytoplasmic, intranuclear and both intracytoplasmic as well as intranuclear. Basic on the location of the inclusion bodies in virus infected cells, this is how we can classify the viral inclusion bodies. The best example for a intracytoplasmic inclusion body is Negri body. Negri bodies are seen in rabies virus infected cells. The best example for a intranuclear inclusion body is Cowdery type A inclusion body commonly seen in herpes simplex virus infected cells. In cytomegalovirus, we have owl sci appearance inclusion bodies. These are both intranuclear as well as intracytoplasmic. Of course, we have a lot of examples under each category. We will now discuss individually all the inclusion bodies. Let me just remind you, in the thumbnail that I have created, I have put this creature. See, let us imagine that this creature is a virus. It is going to cause inclusion bodies. If you can see, it is carrying three different bags and each bag represents a different category of the viral inclusion bodies that we have. The first bag represents intracytoplasmic inclusion bodies. The second bag represents intranuclear inclusion bodies and the third bag represents both intracytoplasmic as well as intranuclear. This way visually you can remember that there are three different categories of viral inclusion bodies. I hope that's easy for you. We'll start with intracytoplasmic inclusion bodies. The first one is rabies virus. In rabies virus, we have Negri bodies. In variola, that is smallpox virus infected cells, we can see Paschen bodies. In vaccinia, that is related to cowpox, we see Guarneri bodies. In foulpox, we have Bollinger bodies. In molluscum contagiosum virus infected cells, we see Henderson Patterson bodies. These are also called as molluscum bodies. Okay, these are the examples of intracytoplasmic inclusion bodies. Friends, if you closely observe, all the pox viruses are seen here. Variola is nothing but smallpox. Vaccinia is related to cowpox. Of course, we have foul pox, and molluscum contagiosum is also one type of pox virus. So you can easily remember that in rabies and in most of the pox viruses, we have intracytoplasmic inclusion bodies. Moving on, we'll talk about the intranuclear inclusion bodies. A scientist named Cowdery in the year 1934 has classified the intranuclear inclusion bodies into two different categories. What are they? Cowdery type A and Cowdery type B. Under Cowdery type A, the first one is lip shells bodies. Lip shells bodies are seen in herpes simplex virus infected cells. Next, in yellow fever, we have Tauris bodies. Students, apart from the intranuclear inclusion bodies, Tauris bodies, in yellow fever, we also have a second category of inclusion bodies called as councilman bodies. Of course, councilman bodies are not specific for yellow fever. They are also seen in other viral hepatitis infected cells also. But please remember that in case of yellow fever, we, we have two different types of bodies. What are they? Tauris bodies and councilman bodies. We'll talk about the Cowdery type B inclusion bodies. Under this, we have two examples. They are adenovirus and poliovirus. In adenovirus infected cells and poliovirus infected cells, we have Cowdery type B inclusion bodies. Students, at this point, please remember that in adenovirus infected cells, the inclusion bodies are basophilic in nature. Okay. 
now that we have finished the intranuclear inclusion bodies let us talk about the intermediate one that is both intracytoplasmic as well as intranuclear inclusion bodies under this we have two examples the first one is cytomegalovirus friends in cytomegalovirus we have typical owl's eye appearance inclusion bodies that means in cytomegalovirus infected cells apart from the regular intranuclear inclusion bodies we also have perinuclear inclusion bodies when you look closely it looks typically like a owl's eye hence it is given this name in measles also we have both intranuclear as well as intracytoplasmic inclusion bodies i want you to note here that the word warthin finkel day is given to the infected cells not to the inclusion bodies okay in measles of course we have the intranuclear plus intracytoplasmic inclusion bodies and the infected cells are typically given this eponym that is warthin finkel day hope you understood it so we have finished all the examples of various inclusion bodies the intracytoplasmic the intranuclear cowdery a cowdery b and both intracytoplasmic as well as intranuclear okay friends as you know i usually have a habit of creating mnemonics with a story in this video also i have created various mnemonics using a single story so that you can remember the classification of inclusion bodies very easily okay so let's quickly get started and look at the story the first mnemonic we have here is in a city so in a city when i say the word city it reminds you that we are talking about intracytoplasmic inclusion bodies in a city is equal to intracytoplasmic okay done in this city we have a girl named rani the word rani tells you that in rabies we have negri bodies r a from rabies n and i from negri will tell you that with this mnemonic rani you can usually remember in rabies we have negri bodies rani is the vip in the city her name is rani rani means queen queens are celebrities so she is a vip with this you can remember that in variola we have pastian bodies v and i in the spelling of variola and p in the spelling of pastian so in variola we have pastian bodies you can easily remember with this mnemonic vip so rani one day she wanted to take the vaccine covid vaccine but because she is a celebrity she could not go out alone so she went out with her guards so she wanted to take the vaccine the word vaccinia comes from the mnemonic vaccine and she went out along with her guards so guarnery you can remember that in vaccinia that is cowpox we have guarnery bodies done now in the vaccination center rani met her facebook friends fb facebook friends f stands for fallpox b stands for bollinger bodies in fallpox we have bollinger bodies so in the vaccination center rani met her facebook friends okay who are those friends they are first friend's name is henderson the second friend's name is patterson in the vaccination center she met her friends she met her facebook friends henderson and patterson and now they decided to go to a mall they decided to go to a shopping mall the spelling of mall is m a l l but just we'll remember it as m o l l so that you can connect molluscum contagiosum with anderson patterson and molluscum bodies next we need to remember the intermediate group for this we'll just imagine that anderson has invited rani to meet his wife what did he say come and meet my wife he said rani please come and meet my wife with this you can remember that in cytomegalovirus we have owl's eye appearance inclusion bodies c stands for cytomegalovirus o stands for owl's eye appearance and from the word meet you can remember measles and with the spelling of wife w stands for warthin and f stands for finkel day with this you can easily remember the intermediate group where we have both intracytoplasmic as well as intranuclear inclusion bodies that is cmv and measles now we'll talk about the intranuclear inclusion bodies for this we'll just imagine that mr patterson who is the next friend invited rani to meet his family his family is a nuclear family it is a happy nuclear family 
when i say nuclear family you can remember that we are talking about the intra nuclear inclusion bodies i told you that it is a happy nuclear family from this word happy we can extract all the examples under intra nuclear inclusion bodies okay i told you that it is a happy nuclear family with the word happy itself we can remember all the examples under intra nuclear inclusion bodies the letter h stands for herpes simplex virus the last letter y stands for yellow fever a stands for adenovirus and p stands for polio virus with the spelling happy itself you can remember the various examples under intra nuclear inclusion bodies we will now go one step further and remember the individual examples under the individual intra nuclear inclusion bodies okay we'll start with cowdery type b inclusion bodies let us imagine that looking at the happy nuclear family of patterson rani remembered her father that is in hindi the word bap represents father so we'll cut short that word and take the letters bap b stands for cowdery type b a stands for adenovirus and p stands for polio virus with this you can easily remember the examples under cowdery type b inclusion bodies okay we are left with cowdery type a inclusion bodies see in herpes simplex virus type 1 that is herpes labialis the lesions are seen on lips with that itself you can remember that in herpes simplex we have lip shells bodies the word lips itself will tell you that in herpes simplex virus we have lip shells bodies to remember that in yellow fever we have torus bodies and consulman bodies we will look at this visual clue here see usually tourists can give you yellow fever why because in india yellow fever is not endemic only a tourist with yellow fever infection can bring the infection to india specifically i have put this tourist in yellow color with yellow color t-shirt so that you can easily remember the word tourists with tourists so in yellow fever we have tourists bodies and also we need to counsel the men to take yellow fever vaccine we need to counsel the men to take yellow fever vaccine so easily you can remember in yellow fever we have counsel men bodies also finish the story i'll just rewind it for you in a city we have a girl named rani she is treated like a vip one day she wanted to take the covid vaccine so she went to the vaccination center along with her bodyguards there she met her facebook friends they are anderson and patterson together all of them went to a shopping mall now anderson said rani come and meet my wife and patterson also invited rani to meet his happy nuclear family looking at that family rani remembered her father her bap this is the end of the story two other visual clues are left out you can remember lip shells bodies with the lesions on the lips seen in herpes simplex virus tourists can give you yellow fever and we need to counsel the men to take yellow fever vaccine friends we are done now this is it this is the video on viral inclusion bodies i hope i made it exciting and interesting for you in case you like the content of the video please consider subscribing and share it with your friends and family members i hope to see you in the next video until next time thank you and good day